Hello, my name is Kat and today I want to talk about reading time. The time spent reading and also the time spent in between reading sessions. I consider myself a pretty fast reader. It usually takes me on average less than a minute per page to read a story. But this topic of reading time isn't necessarily about fast readers or slow readers, it's more about the time spent not reading. I like to read my books pretty quickly. I try to complete them within a few days of starting them, and if possible I try to read in as few sittings as possible. I'll try to read like 200 pages in one sitting and then the next sitting I'll try to finish the book. But I've been thinking lately if this is the best way to kind of receive story, this fast sort of all at once story into your brain thing. Any of you guys familiar with the publishing world know that creating a book takes a long time and here I am reading this 300 page thing that took hundreds of hours from all the people and I'm reading it over like five hours. Is that the best way to read the story and to experience it by doing it all at once or is it better if you break up your reading sessions into smaller little chunks and you have time in between to sort of process and think about what you just read. My preference of experiencing the story all at once is not exclusive to books. I am like this with other mediums as well, such as television or movies. I like to marathon my TV shows. I will watch an entire season over the course of two days, even though, you know, at its release it was an episode a week. If the show is complete, I will watch the entire series over the course of a week or two. I'm thinking about this now a lot because Clockwork Princess is coming out today and I have not read any of the Infernal Devices books. I was waiting until the trilogy was complete so I didn't have to deal with that agony anticipation in between each book. So now I get to read all three books back to back to back. I'm not experiencing the story in the same way as someone who read the first book when it came out and then read the second book when it came out and then read the third book when it came out, you know, with those years spaces in between. I experienced the story all at once over the course of like a week. Is that better? Is that worse? One pro I think in marathoning your stories is that you get it all at once. Like you can kind of connect smaller details, you get a better grasp of foreshadowing, and I don't know, I just think it's really nice to experience the whole arc of the story, the beginning and then the rising drama and the climax and the resolution. I like experiencing that full story arc all at once. When you take time with your stories, you might be able to kind of get more from them. Like if you read a couple chapters, like 30 pages, and then set the book down, and go about your other stuff, your brain is kind of musing over that story and those 30 pages that you read and you're kind of spending more time with the book. If you read a chapter of a book every single night for a month, you are kind of experiencing that story all month. It'll go with you throughout the month. It'll be in your head, in the back of your thoughts. Anyways, I'm not sure if this video made a lot of sense or really had a point. I've just kind of been thinking about reading time lately and I'm curious to know more of your reading habits. Like, do you read your books a hundred pages at a time? Or do you read like a chapter at a time? Or do you just sit down and buckle down and try to read the whole thing at once. Do you read your stories over the course of a month, maybe multiple books at the same time and you read a little bit of each one each night? Or do you just read a story as quick as possible and then move on to the next one? Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, as incoherent as it may have been, and I will have a new video up soon, so I will see you then. Goodbye!